no matter what, it seems to be that humans just by nature, we are our own worst enemy. And when it comes to money, that's absolutely no different. Actually, it's more relevant than ever before. Please stop sabotaging yourself. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ, back with another video, Talks with TJ, aka TJ2, Swoosh Chains. I hope you guys are having a great day. Again, not sure when you guys are viewing this, a lot going on this week in a lot of areas, but I hope that you are having a great day. Uh, if you're brand new, like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, whether it's a discussion video like this about money, uh, me unboxing sneakers, doing a review, how to style, any number of things. Go ahead and uh, take a look around the channel if you like what you see. Subscribe and please engage in the comment section. I love getting back with all of you as much as I can. Uh, please be aware this is something you may not know. A lot of your comments though can filter to the spam folder, which means I may never see them. So don't take it personal sometimes if I don't get back to you in the comment section. So the, the technical term for this little part that I'm gonna to touch on by Chelsea Fagan and the Financial Diet. First off, if you haven't read the book, read it. I think it's amazing. Um, I love her just just candid, raw, very blunt nature. When it comes to talking about money, it was really like you were just uh, conversing with a friend and she's she's very real in the book. So there's this the this list of items she has and it's called, um, since I have kids watching, I won't say the full word, don't you effing dares, right? And with these, these are the hard lines you need to draw when it comes to money, you and how you're going to manage it, because there are so many boundaries we still need to set for ourselves in life, um, just for respect of ourselves. And yes, you do need to set boundaries with other people, too. I don't care who they are, whether it's family, friends, um, you know, parents, significant others, whatever. When you become an adult, there are boundaries that should be set. But the ones we need to set for ourselves with money, you know, she titles them don't you effing dares because these are just certain things you should never dare do with your money. It really is a green light to sabotage whatever it is you could want to do or want to have for yourself in the future. And we're going to touch on the first one. And it actually has to do with the fact that don't let a credit card sabotage you. Don't let that be your demise. And I know a lot of you are very, very responsible with your credit card use. And I'm so happy about that. I absolutely love it. Again, I'm not opposed to them. I just know that based on how a lot of people operate with a lack of discipline and commitment to making sure there's a plan or they have the money on hand before they charge something, I, that's why I don't always recommend it to just everybody. You need to show that you have a good history of making sound decisions because it's so easy. Even just look at right now with everything that's going on with the pandemic. How many people do you think prior to this, they were just charging and charging and charging life? they were just charging it and just making the minimum payments and that never once did they actually possibly have the money on hand to pay for whatever it is they're charging so then fast forward and the whole world almost shuts down and you may not have a job now what because everything you were charging well it was still due now that's not to say that creditors didn't provide grace periods for people but if it had nothing to do with everything going on, what if you did just lose your job because you lost your job and you didn't find one as soon as you thought you would or there was an issue with filing for unemployment, not that unemployment pays you everything all the time that you were making in the first place, what then? You now backed yourself into a corner because now you have to make good on the balance with the interest of items and food and things you probably already consumed or don't even care about anymore. So don't dare, don't you dare sabotage yourself with a credit card, no matter what. I always say this, okay? Because we can, you can fall into that trap, right? You really just want a pair of shoes and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna charge it right now and I'll just, I'll just pay it off when I have the money next month but if you don't have a plan of when that money like what what paycheck that money will be set aside from and there's no hard line no hard boundary set so then what if you don't get that paycheck that next month or what if something else comes up and now you can't just immediately pay off that statement when it arrives and now you are letting interest accrue on whatever you charge and now you have to double back and, and take care of that too that's a sabotage. Don't do that to yourself. We can be our own worst enemies. I, I don't know why we choose to do that. I don't know if it's because we're afraid of what we could be, right? Afraid of what could happen if we do things uh, in, a, in a very direct way, 
towards the path we want to be on. I don't know why that's the problem, but we like to sabotage ourselves. Please just don't do it, okay? Be smart. If you're going to use credit cards, have a plan. You should not be charging anything. You do not have the cash on hand for today. I will 100% continue to stand by that. As always, at your age, not your shoe size. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.